Hello everyone, and today um, I want to give you another uh, competitive deck, but this one is going to be, you know, a little bit different, and it's because there's really right now two really powerful um, Chinese deck, and you can do it more with a spell heavy deck, or you can go with one with a beast team deck. So, today I want to give you an aggro beast deck, and with the new cards, it kind of really works well. So, of course, you're going to have your Manifold Blade with deal 1 damage plus 1 for each beast you have. This is by far your best card. Then we're going to have Emperor's Prize. Now, 2 mana to draw cards for every friendly you have in play. And we're going to be playing a super aggressive card, so that's going to be really good. We're going to also be uh, playing Siphon Mines. So, this is going to be more of a late game to deal 3 damage when we can't reach our enemy anymore. And also going to draw a card, which is uh, really good to cycle itself. Uh, we're going to be playing some Herboise. And this is just, if your opponent plays a big card, you can always play in a Herboise and put it back into your hand and continue to burst them with your little units. And it's also a little unit by itself. Um, we're going to also be playing the Dragon King. So that's a 6 damage burst on the Summoning Stone. Really, really good. Also can be removal. Now... Basilisk is going to be one of our early drops, going to boost the other beast, I really like him. We're also going to be playing Hyenas, who's going to be boost when you're putting other beasts, and we're going to be playing a bunch of them, because we're going to be drawing a bunch of cards. Um, also going to have the Neiman Lion, the White Tiger, see how cheap they are, right? Um, I'm going to be playing uh, two Chaos Pawns, and that's to cancel the annoying like best stats, the Sobex, the Apollo, the annoying ones in the early game. Um, like Scylla, even, you know, so Chaos Spawn is really effective there. We're going to have a three, a good three mana uh, beast finally in the other RP. And we're going to be having also Stone Garden. And the reason why I picked Stone Garden is because it's going to be one of your range unit and it can snowball a game for us really easily and just attack from safe position. Especially that we can bot block with lots of our cards. And finally, the big burst of damage, double Suku. If you have a beast, he is charged 5-3 beast itself. So, that's my aggro beast and I'm really excited to show you what it's capable of. So, let's go into rank. And yeah, while we're waiting in queue, I want you to remember that you can always check in the description of the video for uh, my clan link. Uh, be sure to check it out and then re read the, the rules because, you know, it's not a clan like the others. It's actually a clan where the players need to be active and you're going to be playing some games against, you know, new members or older members and it, you know it's going to be a lot of fun I'm really excited for the clan so check it out it's the dead walkers now um, if I wanted to talk about you know this deck it's it's really all about swarming the board but you know Odin does that but with one ones and this deck will do it with two twos except some of the cards like Neiman Lion um, and you know all of these cards buff each other. For example, the Basilisk will buff the other beast, the White Tiger will buff himself, and then the Stone Guarder also buff himself, the Suku is buffed by other beasts, the Ahina is buffed when you play other beasts. So you can see all the synergy between the cards to buff themselves or buff other cards. While in Orden, you just swarm the board and you just deal direct damage and, you know, none of your cards really interact e with each other except like having a lot of units and playing a mayhem for example okay so we're gonna be playing against odin so let's see which one of the best aggro deck is going to be uh we're starting that's kind of it's really interesting so hmm start with an Ahina. Yeah, because there, if there's a Rathathoskr, I counter it. So you won't be playing Rathathoskr. I would have been playing White Tiger because it gained health every turn, but, you know. This is better. Uh, oh, Mana Potion. Scotty? Ooh, that is really interesting. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. White Tiger. 
Now he's going to have three mana. Why that deals three? The gift of money or anything else? I don't feel like it. I really don't feel like it. I'm. It seems like I'm good. That's not gonna be enough. Oh my god. Okay, well, I was pretty lucky. To be honest. Why did he use the map ocean though? Wait, what? Did I miss something? Okay, okay. Let's play safe, cause I have, I need, I need to draw cards. In order to need to draw cards, I need to have them in play. All right, so he got really lucky with the mayhem. Fortunately for me, was the aggressor now on on the defensive. I need. Okay. Thanks. Fair enough. That's good for me. I want you to kill it with my manifold play, which should help me to stabilize. Wow. Well, that was actually a good kill. I have. Well, that is really unfortunate. Okay. I'll be pushing damage if I do that, but at the same time, I'm going to be skipping. Not a fan of it, but I have a two-three that effect. Uh, better just kill it now and take board dominance the better I have less card than him you have board control but he has five mana on us how he well that's pretty good but it's not going to be enough the protect here comes really handy. Okay, now it's not something I really want to, but it costs five mana, so I'll do it. Now I'll stay with the head boy and defensive. Yeah, because it's going to die. If I don't die to a 1 1. And I feel like it's the time. Draw two, 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 it's not that good. I can always make one, one. Yeah, we're gonna play it like this. And why? It's mainly because corner. It is mainly because next turn I can Suku Empress Prize having a Crescent Blade will be well now. If this Freya, I'm losing everything though. But. If I was him, I would have not played a Freya in this. That's some poorly placed Tor. So I can just. Oh, okay. Well, that's going to go here. Um, I guess I'll draw a card with the Suku. Done. I can kill him. Yeah. Well, let's draw some cards. Be about it. That's going to be about it. Life and full souls here. Ah. Oh. Yeah, I, I know about that one. Oh my god, again? Yeah. So, 
get out of range. That's actually really here. Here. I'll make crescent blades. I mean, this guy's out of range. I'll just kill him next turn with three crescent blades. I'll have my my army here. I mean, okay, fine, but still can't advance because then the stone guardian will zone it. And I'll just silence the the Prince Navarre with the chaos spawn, which, like I said. That is really useful. But yeah. Um what would that because uh it's gonna probably give us what we need. I'll I'll decide if there's a tour coming down, but uh let's draw a card. The Habois? Prepared decided to go there. First move. Okay, I'll spawn. Silence that. There you go. A pretty good spot now. Got three cards. How the Elder RP? Maffle Blade's gonna hit hard. And we can stall with a Hebois. Okay, fair. Not going to be getting three kings, just going to trade for it. Okay. That's cool. You have nine mana left, one card. Is that a far giant? Gift of money. Well, that's actually pretty good for him. Okay, didn't he draw a card? Or it's. Oh! Okay, that's still a bug. It says one enemy card in hand. Okay, well, he's gonna card. Um, seems like I'm at a unit. Push. Why will I return that? That's actually a bad play. Anybody else gets free pack out of nowhere? I didn't. Okay. Uh, it was though a, a really a game of uh, early minions. Well, not that guy, but you know, yeah, yeah, Heb was gonna be a useful. Well, you're gonna attack me? Wow. Why will you do that when he knows I have crescent blades? That's uh, a bit awkward. But hey. We have the Dragon King. It's a good game. Killing the deal. Oh, wait. Had enough damage, right? No, that's only two beasts. But only eight. Okay. Because he seems like a bad man. My beast? Not cool. Stop killing my beasts. Okay. Well, he could have killed my Hebois though with that 1 1. To be honest. What if he kills my Hebois, right? He has a 1 1 less. So, like this. There. Oh, he would have actually survived, did he? No, he wouldn't. Even with the Hebois. Then. There you go. And the last damage, or two damage, I said. So, okay. I'm pretty well. He had like a mid range deck. That was a little bit awkward. But yeah, you can see that the cards are really synergistic, but sometimes if you don't have a beast in play, then the Sukus are not really that effective. And, you know, when 
you, that's the thing. Like, you have to get the cards kind of in the right order, and then you have to be careful because if your enemies kill your stuff, then it won't trigger. So yeah, and like the guy was still really lucky that both his guy, like both the shots or the three shots, hit exactly at my units instead of the stones. But yeah, it's it's like a deck. So this is, I think, the the one of the list that I can do with Beast that is the most effective. Um, you can also remove some of the Siphon Mine, some of an Empress Prize to go much of a mid-range and add Oogways and add Baboons in there instead. But you know, it's really up to you. Um, and I feel like, except Odin Aggro, there's not really any Aggro type. Some, some, some Egyptian can work and, and some Beast and that's really what I'm trying to do here. So the boy's going to be good unless there's a sill on their side. Um, same stuff for a stone garden. Um, I have though to take more early stuff. Okay, I'm gonna try and have a two drop. Okay, I got a two drop. Cause I I know there's a lot of two drops in this deck, right? There's basically eight two drops. So let's go with this. He didn't do anything on his first turn, which is good for us. Because now if he puts in Apollo, we just have Bois and continue to attack. Which is excellent for us. Oh, Judgment's going to come down. That's going to be interesting. Uh, it's going to be the place where I played a Stone Garden. And I'm going to put offensively. Because at 4 mana, uh, Tanathos, Scylla, Aphrodite, there's not much... That can directly attack and kill my Stone Guarded if I put him here. But if I put him in the back, he's not going to be able to attack. So this is why I put it in the front line. And see, he's not going to play anything because of that. I mean, uh, we're going to have Siphon Mine here. We're going to be drawing a Hyena. And we're just going to take full spot here. Uh, I should have not advanced. That was actually a miss. That was a mistake of my part because now I can't go back in the, my sa in the safe spot where my, zone, my stone is. I have no engines. Okay. Going to be a good uh, good bait. Now I'm going to be playing. Okay, let's go with Neiman Lion because next turn we can Suku Suku Manifold Blade if there's need. Let's go with that. Uh, I expect Latina to come down here. Oh, Scylla is going to be buffed. Okay. Well, unfortunately, he's going to be killed, and my Suku won't be able to be charged. But hey. Uh, let's see. Play. Not something I really want. Well, let's go with Suku. Manifold's on it up now, it's two. That's a little bit sad. Okay. So let's go for that play. Playing Habwa. There. We have to kill her. So we're playing this. We're making a full blade. And then we're using a crescent blade. Now Tathos Satina is gonna punish me hard here. Oh yeah, there is the punish. It's gonna be buffed. Yeah, that's really sad. I can't have a low why won't you? Yeah, I was scared. If he was playing an Apollo, that would have been actually really good. Now. That, I can't put it back in the hand. That feels really bad. Having to invest. So bad. Can I rush him? Be able. Okay, let's let's see if I can rush him. I'm 
Hopefully we can make the trade, that's for sure. Like, I can see... He, he cannot keep the Suku alive. He's gonna have a Tina Judgment. Probably lost the game there. He has, like, the perfect cards he can play. Like, it's going to be a Tina. With Scylla. No. Judgment. Wait. That was then. That was a mistake then. Why will you. Wow. This kid's level 5. That was like a huge mistake. I need board presence. I want to burst the damage in there. One thing for sure. I'm attacking. So let's take our chances here. So let's give him back Atina. Give him a second chance. And trying to push for damage. That's going to be our goal here. Remember that we have Siphon Mine in the deck that deals two direct damage and draws a card. So he's technically right now at six health. And we do have six, but we know he has an Atina. If he plays Atina, he's left with three. So unless he draws a Judgment or a Scylla, right? So the removals. Oh, Diving Intervention? No. Okay, there's the Scylla. That was, that was really not well placed. So, okay, he should have, because now he cannot play Atina. He should have played Scylla, trade with the Hebois, and then. Place a Tina in order to kill uh, the Basilisk. And while placing a Tina to kill the Basilisk, he could have blocked for the Chaos Spawn also. Right? So he would have body blocked the Chaos Spawn, kill the Hebois, have an Athena on board, kill my Basilisk. Hmm. Now we just attack. First. Can't finish the game yet, but we're pretty close. Oh, missed the damage. Oops. Well, that was miscalculated. Well, maybe he's not going to be able to kill both. If I get a Suku here, we got the game. If I get a Siphon Mine, we also get the game. Okay. Okay, and then you block. So that, that was a good play. That was a good play. I must must give him that. That was pretty good. Now a little unfortunate. Have to go on defense mode. I need to keep that, because if I get a Suku, I want to be able to uh, charge. Now a Judgment, that will kill my guy and push for damage. Really unfortunate. The good thing is that... Oh, well that's not cool. Well that was a little misplay for him, right? Is Okay, here's that's the problem. He's leaving the bottom lane open. Okay. Well, we have to try sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Here. Oh my god. Get the Suku, I can't play it. I still. There you go. We got the kill. Sometimes you just have to go for your acts. Yeah, he should have uh, moved the Nemesis in the same column as the Scylla and moved the Athena or put the Ares um, on top where the Nemesis was to body block the top row with the Ares, body block the middle row with the Athena, and then body block the bottom row with um, the Scylla and the Nemesis because both of them had two life. And if he boosts one, I can still kill the other one with Crescent Blade, so we will still have a body blocker in that lane. Nonetheless, guys, I hope that you enjoy my uh, competitive beast deck 
uh, for Chinese. And I will probably do a competitive control deck for Chinese since I think it's a little bit uh, better. But I like to, uh, you know, sometimes change my playstyle and go a little bit out of my, my comfort zone. So guys, I hope that you like it. I hope that you learn a lot. And be sure to check out my clan in the description. And I'll see you soon.